so that was that was fun to say the least. Yo ho yo ho a pirate life for me. Hey guys, what's going on? It's officially 18 days, 20 hours, and some odd minutes until I leave. And that's the time that my flight leaves. And I gotta tell you, I'm not really looking forward to getting up that early on a Sunday, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. So yesterday with the Disney send-off meeting at my school, unfortunately I wasn't able to film. Uh, I saw I saw my friend Brittany there, which is pretty cool. Her, her channel's right up here. And she does another Disney vlog. I met a lot of cool new people. I didn't really know, uh, or I didn't really learn anything that I didn't know already, because, you know, I've done the program before. I mean, some things have changed around a bit, but not that much. I got a couple of questions to answer here. The first one is, what apartment should I stay in? And there's, I'm gonna go over each apartment again really quickly. I don't know if I went over them already, but this is how it breaks down. Vista Way is kind of like near everything. It's, it's about a two minute drive from Walmart, maybe a five minute drive from Publix, um, which is another grocery store. It's right across the street from Bennigan's. It's within walking distance of a bunch of stuff. However, the downside of that is that there's parties going on all the time. And maybe you're not seeing that as a downside, but it's loud, it's rowdy, it's the, the dirtiest apartments by far. Um, and I speak from experience. Um, and to me, the uh, downside to the amount of downsides to this away outweigh the number of good things about it. So, with that in mind, I'm going to move on to the commons. And you can all forget about trying to live at the commons unless you are an international student because that's the commons are strictly reserved for uh, international students. So, on to Chatham. Chatham is nice. Uh, cheaper than Patterson, more expensive than just away. They're quiet. There's not. There, there are parties, but not as loud and not as many going on. The pool is a lot bigger than Vista Ways. However, it's not within a close walking distance of much. And to me, the the number of advantages to Chatham outweigh the number of disadvantages to Chatham because I can take a bus. You can, and you can take a bus. You can take a bus wherever you want to go. I mean, it's not like you're not going to be able to go get groceries or go visit your friends. You're, not, you're just not going to be able to walk to them. There's about a two-mile distance between Chatham and uh, Vista Way, so it'll probably take you about, you know, depending on how fast you walk or jog, if you're that type of person, maybe about in, uh, somewhere between 45 minutes to an hour to get there walking. So that's that. Otherwise, you can just take a bus. I mean, the buses stop at all the apartments. Oh, by the way, I recommend picking up as many bus schedules as you possibly can and keeping them safe because they will get destroyed. And finally, Patterson Courts. I don't really know much about them. I just know that they're fairly new, maybe about a year, year and a half old, maybe two. And uh, it's not as far of a distance from Chatham to Patterson as it is from Chatham to Vista Way. I'm not sure what's around there. I don't know. I've never been there. Um, the last time I was there, it was only the Commons, Chatham, or Vista Way. I do know that Patterson Courts is a little bit more expensive than Chatham, about 115 a week, um, as opposed to Chatham, which is anywhere from 85 to 95 a week. That's what I was told, and that's don't don't hold me to that to that fact, but that's just what I was told. So. Uh, if you find something different, please let me know so I can update that accordingly. One other question that another person had was about the buses and where do they run. They obviously pick up at all three apartments. Let's see, they go to the grocery store, they go to the mall, they go to the parks, they go to the backstage areas where they drop cast members off for work, and they run very early till very late so you won't get stranded so you don't have to worry about that if you don't bring a car you won't get stranded at the parks or anything if if uh, if you do you can just call there's a number 
there's a number that you can call right underneath that uh, bus stop sign and you can call them and they will come and pick you up. So you have nothing to worry about. If you don't bring the car, don't worry. The only added benefit about a car is that it gives you more freedom. Yeah, I almost forgot. When you go down there, make sure you buy a mattress pad because I heard that the mattresses down there are not that comfortable and I do remember the last time I was down there I had a very uncomfortable mattress. Not to mention that uh, I was rooming with someone who snored so I pretty much had to sleep on the couch. So that was, that was fun to say the least. Um, and also make sure you buy possibly a new shower curtain because you don't know how long that current one's been there. So just trying to give it to you guys straight. Hey guys, good morning. It's uh, about 7.30 in the morning on Wednesday, May 5th. And uh, I have to get up early to go to a doctor's appointment. I'm so tired right now. So uh, I noticed that everyone was doing uh, five things about themselves. And uh, here's mine. So number one, I am a magician and a comedian. And I have been for 13 years now. Well, almost 14 years. If any of you like to laugh, and if any of you like magic, better yet, if any of you like both of those put together, just make sure you let me know and I'll be sure to perform some tricks for you. Number two, I am deathly afraid of rice. Yes, the food rice. And the reason for that is because I watched this movie when I was younger called The Lost Boys. I watched it when I was like six, and it's a movie about vampires. And there's one point where this guy is eating rice and it turns into maggots. And that pretty much scarred me for life. I, I can't put rice in my mouth. I can be around it, I just can't put it in my mouth. Number three. I can do roller coasters. There's two, the, two types of rides that I cannot do. One, up and down or vertical drop rides like Splash Mountain or Tower of Terror because for some reason my stomach just won't let me. I mean, it's like instant upchuck. Believe me, I would love to go on those rides, but it's my, my stomach just doesn't let me. And every single time I've done it, uh, my stomach just doesn't handle it. I also cannot do roller coasters with just the lap bar. Um, I can only do ro roller coasters that have the shoulder harness. Okay, so number four. I absolutely love thunderstorms. I will literally do anything in the thunderstorm. I will continue to ride the rides in the parks during a thunderstorm. Okay, so number five. I absolutely love to drive. I don't know about any of you, but for some reason, I hate being the passenger. And I don't, I don't know why. Maybe it's just a fear of something. I really don't know, but I love driving more than I love just sitting there as a passenger riding. So yeah, there's my five uh, random facts about me. And uh, can't wait to hear your guys's. So, uh, see you guys on the next video. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate fight for me. We pillage, we plunder, we rifle and loot. Drink up, me hearty, yo ho. We kidnap and ravage and don't give a hoot. Drink up, me hearty, yo ho. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate fight for me.